Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey and you are here. If it's your first time coming to check us out, what's up? Like I said, my name is Jersey. Take a look around. Hopefully you like the place. And if you do, it doesn't suck too terrible. Go back and watch any and all of the episodes or listen to them on iTunes or Google Play, whatever. Go back, follow them all. Uh, we have like 40 of them right now and it's a weekly podcast. So definitely check us out. Make sure to subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. And if you are one of the nation, one of the cool kids, if you're somebody who watches, you thumbs up, you've subscribed, you've done all that cliche stuff, and, and, which I've not brought up yet, if you've given us a five star or whatever rating on iTunes, then you, my friend, are one of the nation, one of the cool kids. It is because of you I get to do this show. So keep watching, keep, you know, uh, commenting, keep sending me texts just saying, what's up? I love the show, whatever. Definitely appreciate you guys. You guys are huge. You guys are awesome. If you are the next step up and you're one of the elite, the nation elite, you are somebody who does all that stuff. You've given us the iTunes review. You shared our content anywhere and all over, and you order your supplies through me, then what is up? You are the kings of your castle. You are the reason I get to eat dinner and sometimes breakfast. Thank you for doing that. Definitely thank you for uh, ordering through me. And if you have any questions, I am a sales rep for Window Cleaning Resource. So definitely reach out to me. Uh, My direct number, this is a cell phone, so you can text it, call it, whatever, 862-312-2026. Write it down. Oh, wait. Got a piece? Paper? Good, good, good. It's 862-312-2026. That's my number. Shoot me a text. You can even just say, what's up? Watch the show. Love it. That's amazing. If you want to order supplies, definitely let me know. And there's been a rash of people who are like, ah, I ordered, but I didn't order through you because I didn't want to like bug you. There's no bug. This is literally the biggest high five I could get is if you just call me and be like, hey, I even got people to say, I put everything in my cart, man. Just need to pull a trigger. I call you, set it up. That's how I make my ching. So I would appreciate that immensely. So definitely, definitely, and definitely let me do that for you. Big or small, all of them, I want to be your rep. So Please let me be your rep at Window Cleaning Resource. All that being said, I want to give a couple shout outs to some people today. Uh, First off, Bo Cook. What's up, man? Uh, What is going on? Uh, Castle Keepers. Um, It's good to see you all around, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, Paul Lashinsky. What's going on, Paul? And uh, finally, Ed Bross. Ed, you are the man. Um, Always want to give shout outs to anybody who just calls and says, or even texts and be like, hey, watch the show. I love it. Definitely let me know. Um, and if you order from me, like I said, you can be put on the list too. But it's awesome. Thanks for all of your support, guys. And winner, winner this week of the random YouTube comments is Jason Thomas. What's up, man? Jason Thomas is one of the guys who is part of the nation. He watches, he always comments, it's awesome to see him up. Woo Nation, uh, what's going on, man? You won a $50 uh, WCR credit and the swag bag, man. Just email me your info to josh at windowcleaningresource.com. Address is all I really need, and uh, I'll be able to shoot that stuff out. And if you want to win, this is all you have to do to win, is go ahead and comment on YouTube Anything that you want. We pick a winner every single week from the last week's videos. And you could win $50 credit and a swag bag. And we're talking about other giveaways too. So if you comment, you could even win the bigger giveaways when those start trickling in. So that's pretty awesome. Another way to win is to give us a review on iTunes. That's huge, right? We need that. We want that. And... The best thing you can do, this is free content. Watch all, hopefully you learn something, or hopefully you just have fun uh, watching them. But go out there and share our content. I don't normally ask for shares either, but this is really, really important to us to share these videos, to get them out there. We want to see our views and listens increase. Right now, the iTunes and uh, the Google Play, SoundCloud, those guys are winning over the the YouTube videos itself. We just want to increase everything. So share the content anywhere you think you can. 
anywhere that you may be able to help somebody or put it in a group, I would genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. So um, go ahead and do that. Anyway, um, so that brings us to our episode. This week, we're talking about customer retention. Now, I said in one of the forums, I was going to talk to Josh Latimer about that last week. And you know what I did? Well, I didn't do that. (laughs) We talked about something else. We started talking and our vibe was so good. We just kind of like, we kind of just, I'm just knocking stuff up. We got off track and uh, we never went back on. Both of us had notes and we just didn't go back into that. We were talking about like other things and it was just, it was just awesome. So go back and listen to that one. Josh uh, is a cool dude. Um, It was a lot of fun uh, being able to talk to him again. But this week we're going to talk about customer retention, like a week late from when we talked about it on Facebook. So I apologize to you guys. I'll hopefully post this in that group so you can see it. But here's my thoughts on it. And like I always say, listen, I'm a nobody from nowhere, right? I just want to tell you what I have. Doesn't mean that I'm right. It just means these are my opinions. So definitely listen and comment. The back and forth is awesome. Comment if you have any other suggestions or ideas. I genuinely love to learn about our industry also. So if you guys got some cool tips or tricks, I want to know about them. So comment down below. Anyway, so customer retention is super important. And the problem is with customer retention is that people just let it go. They go, ah, well, they'll come back. That's it. That's, That's all they do for customer retention. And that to me is ridiculous because here's the thing. You have customers, awesome, high five. How many of those customers do you got next year? That speaks volumes if you can have a high retention because we're building empires, right? We are building companies that will be here for years, I hope. I hope a lot of you are. And even if you're a one-man show, it's like, ah, I'm just doing this, making a bunch of money, whatever. Yes, but you want to know something? Keeping a customer of yours, a client, will cost you seven times less, 700% less to keep that customer than to get a new one. And I think it's higher than that. I really genuinely do. Because when you run the numbers on general advertising to somebody new, it's super high. The nice thing with a uh, retained customer is that that customer already trusts you. They already know who you guys are. They already know what your logos look like. They know your quality of work. They know everything, and they might have already given you reviews. That's how much they like you, but now you got to get them back. I bring up McDonald's a lot also in these shows, and I know I get people talk about all the time. We're not McDonald's. McDonald's is huge and national. We're not. I know, but for general purposes of explanation, I guess, here's the thing with McDonald's. McDonald's is in every single billboard, uh, magazine, radio, TV, uh, newspaper, they are everywhere. And all they're doing is getting people to be retained. By them. They, they want their customers to come back. That's all they want, right? Everybody knows who McDonald's is. You could ask any three-year-old, and I guarantee you they could say the word McDonald's, right? They know that. So having that, you know, being in front of people, reminding people you exist is huge. And it costs you a heck of a lot less. Building an empire is like building this structure. So if every year you can, you know, some guys are running 75% retention. That's pretty bad in my opinion. No offense to your company or what you're doing. I get it. But I guarantee you could raise those numbers. And the reason the retention's so low is, yes, some people don't do their windows but once every five years. I get that. People die. People move. People, you know, have financial burdens. I get all that. So there won't ever be really 100% retention. For the most part, if I'm wrong, tell me, but you want to get closer to that. And the big thing that you can do is let people know that you still exist. Think about this. If you go and you get your oil change done every six months, because, you know, we're all right on top of that, right? Say you go uh, uh, every few months, right? And you go get that oil change done. Depending on what kind of oil you have, you may have to go longer or sooner, but The reason you remember that is because there's a little sticker in the top corner of your window that tells you, here's the date you got to come back. And what's at the top of that? Always the company logo, name, phone number, all that, right? Yes, that's great. And yes, we talked about doing that in window cleaning. 
getting those printed, putting them in a the kitchen window so that the people know the last time that they had their windows cleaned so that when they're looking, God, windows are filthy. We haven't had them cleaned in three months, right? This is all retention stuff. But that sticker is there, not just to be a helpful reminder, but it's so that every time you think about an oil change or you get in and you just glance at it, you go, oh, well, there's, a, there's one I need to go back and there's a place I need to go. Most people don't go to a bunch of different places. They're not going to a bunch of different oil places. Some people, obviously price shoppers. Anyway, you'll get that even in your business. But they look at it, they see the date, and they see the place. Now, you need to do the same thing. Be in front of them. And how do you do that? So here's a few ideas that I use myself, things that I know work for me. Hopefully they work for you too. But having repeat work is really the goal. And we'll talk about increasing the frequency and all that fun stuff. But you have to remind them that you exist. And how I do that first and foremost is a postcard. A simple, simple postcard. Now, postcards are are um, a four by six postcard is what I'm talking about, not like an EDDM style. Four by six postcard costs like about as much as a as a, um, an envelope mailed out if you're not doing bulk permitted blah blah blah, right? Which isn't a terrible deal. Um, normal postcards you can get them for cheaper. Sometimes you know half depending on what you're doing, but that simple postcard is easy. It has a picture on the front. So even if they don't open the mail, they're going to look at it, flip it over, look at it. They've seen it. That's where postcards work. And a postcard's there just to remind them that it's window season or to remind them it's fall or to remind them we do gutter cleaning or to remind them we do... You're reminding them, but you're getting a logo in front of them. And even if they need to do something that's not on that card, you've just done the oil change sticker. You just put it in front of them so that they can see you still exist. They're still reminded that you're there. And it's simple and cheap. And the best thing you can do with a 4x6 is not necessarily get it to new people. It's to get it to existing customers. And if you've read the Window Cleaning Marketing Blueprint, you see that he talks about that in there too. But if you can send that to somebody who already trusts you, they've already known your pricing, they already know who you are, that four by six postcard is just a trigger. They can see it and go, oh, that's right, Windows, right? Even if they throw it away, they've just been triggered. And that's what you wanna do, is you want to trigger them, let them know you still exist, be a McDonald's. And a four by six postcard is a great way. Now, what I do in a four by six postcard is whatever service I'm doing. So spring is always gonna be um, window cleaning. Spring, spring is here, windows, blah, blah, blah. If you put a bunch of flowers or whatever, you could lose a message of window cleaning. You may, people may think it's a greenhouse or something like that. So making it clear of what it is, is very important. So what I do is I put a picture, like I said before in previous episodes, I have some really nice pictures that we've taken throughout the years that is just windows being cleaned with a ladder. Under the ladder, I put a bunch of tulips, right? So there's flowers on there, but you see they're cleaning the windows. It's spring, time to get the windows done. Something like that. Something like, you know, getting that reminder that, oh, you always get it done in spring and fall, right? Which most people would like to do that, but not everybody does because maybe they just don't remember. So getting that out there, the other side of the postcard, obviously you need to have room for the um, um, label and all the the stamp and stuff like that. But on the rest of it, I'll put little coupons, some uh, few little coupons on there. Uh, Just a little one, something that is like, oh, remind you, if you book before, you know, book this spring and get X book this spring and take this amount off or book this spring and get a free high five. I've done funny coupons like that too. But doing that this spring allows them to know a date. So they need to get it done in spring, but it doesn't limit you to having that coupon uh, or that postcard be, you know, if you don't send them all this year, you may send them next spring. So we talked about expiration dates. A lot of guys like that for call of action. I'm not huge on that because I like to be able to not throw stuff away. I've thrown out like, that was like 3,000 pieces one time. And it was so stupid, not to jump off topic, but it was an EDDM that had 
expirations. And I had all the batches and I was sending them out. And these ones, they were inside of, we had these fold down cupboards. I was stacking them all in there. That was some room. So I put a bunch in there, put a bunch on the counter, put a bunch on the floor. I was sending them all out. And, oh, they're gone. Like six months later, I opened that up and saw them all in there. And I'm like, oh, crap. And because there was expirations, I had to throw them out. So I don't do expirations. I don't like it. Um, but postcards, there you go. A really simple idea, really cheap to print. If you are a WCRA member, check out at Cost Printing. Uh, if not, call Steve anyway. Steve at QPS is like, he's got good prices, great prices on everything. Uh, even if you're not a member, still has pretty good prices. Or you can go the Got Print route and uh, get it done bulk-wise. They're super cheap, super, super cheap. That's your spring one. What about uh, Dog Days of Summer, right? What are you going to talk about in the summer? Well, you could talk about, um, you know, vacations, not having enough time, get the window, get in front of people. Summer sucks. We know that. But sending a postcard still reminds them about window cleaning, about what your services are. Pressure washing. Maybe you're doing pressure washing in the middle of summer. That's when the houses look the worst, right? So go ahead and send that out. Fall, gutter cleaning. If you do gutter cleaning, it's a great time to advertise for gutter cleaning because people need to get the gutters scheduled, especially in a cold area, before everything freezes. So put that on there. Same concept on the front, simple picture, direct. Only talk about one service on the front because you don't want to lose people in a cluster of just like a thousand things, right? On the other side, you could say something like, you know, and don't forget to get your windows done, but stick to one focus on each of these postcards. And then winter, winter sucks. Uh, winter, the only thing I do in winter is I'll send a postcard that'll have like some stupidly low price. You know, want to see a winter wonderland? Well, for $99, you can get your exteriors clean. That's you know, $50 off our normal price or uh, $75 off our normal price, whatever your price is, right? Something stupid, stupid call to action, like get them done now, save a bunch of money. The downside to that is that particular card, people will call you in spring and be, can I still get that? No, that's our winter price. You know, I always put, we're slow, save some dough, you know, put something like that. Winter sucks though. If you don't put a card out in winter, I'm not going to hold it against you. You may save some money. We don't get a very good response in winter. The rest of them, huge. The spring card, huge, huge. Very, very important. So postcards, look into a four by six postcard. They're, they're pretty pretty awesome. Now four by six, just a quick um, tip on that. Remember, four by six postcard cannot be sent EDDM. That, that's a completely different size. They cannot be sent that way. This is only for this. So keep that in mind. And getting four different cards that you can send out different seasons is big. It's big. Keep people refreshed. Keep people understanding. And they always look at it. They're not opening letters. Like I said, they're always looking at it and they're cheap. They're cheap. So that's a huge one. Um, another one that you can do is giving people coupons for a repeat service. So if you go to them right now, or when spring finally gets here for some of us, right? Um, going to them and giving them the information and in there say, hey, there's a coupon in there. And if you get your windows done within the next three months, you'll save, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever you want to do. It could be crazy because you're cleaning relatively clean windows, but it could be a great call to action. Save this on your fridge. Do this, do that. Here's the coupon. Make sure to come back. Now, all that's doing is reassuring that they want to come back. That's all they... All you want is to have them come back. So remind them that coming back in three months, we'll give you this coupon. We can book that service right now. What what day a week works best for you, right? Get them to come back. If you can set them up to come back at time of service, it's even easier because then they're just coming back. They're in the schedule. They're already on that side of things. They're got it in there and you're not going to lose them if they're already scheduled. So let them come back and pay them accordingly with discounts. Um, gift cards are another one. We talked about that, plastic gift cards, right? But think about what that gift card does. That gift card says, if you come back and use this again, take this money off. It's a gift card. It's money. It's like putting money in an envelope and saying, here you go, right? So even though they're going to have one card to give to their friends, they're going to keep one card. And they're going to want to come back because they're going to look at that. Every time they go in the wall, oh, that's right. I got this money with them. It's huge. It's like that sticker in the window reminding them to go back 
to you. So having them repeat customers, repeat coupons. I know some guys are out there go, well, I don't discount my services. Neat. <laughs> Do that. I don't, I don't care. But they're really, really good um, options to have people come back. Think of that. If you are, um, you're getting mailers uh, in the newspaper, right? You'll get a, we'll say Pizza Hut coupon. Well, you're getting a coupon, two pizzas for blah, blah, blah. Just getting that sheet, people will save it because they're like, oh, I might go back there eventually, right? If you get it, you go, oh, pizza. You guys want pizza tonight? But I wouldn't have thought of pizza unless I would have gotten the coupon. So getting that just reminds you. It just reminds you. That's all you're trying to do with retaining customers. You need to remind them that you exist. But they know that, right? Yeah, they kind of do. But they need to be reminded. Otherwise, these are the people that go years without doing it. So those are some ideas. Now, here's the biggest part of retaining customers is retained customers will get you referrals. And we all know that referrals are the biggest form of our advertising. No matter how much you spend on ads, you'll always have more referrals. Or at least 50% of your entire new incoming people will be referrals if you're doing things right. And if somebody retains uh, if they're retained as a customer of yours, they're going to get people to be referred. They're going to do that. And that is the key. And the name of the game is referrals. So go out there and get those repeat customers. Remind them you're alive. Remind them you're a company. Remind them it's time to get their windows clean. My number one favorite thing, favorite thing of everything for retaining customers is the call list. We've talked about the call list, but our spring and fall call list is our biggest, 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 biggest way of retaining customers. Yes, you are You seem like a telemarketer for a little bit. You feel like it. They don't care. They're like, oh my gosh, thanks for calling. I completely forgot. Yeah, let's get on the schedule. Here's what I do. I call up pre-spring. It gets nice. It has to be nice, but just in that beginning where the schedule looks nice, the, the the um, weather looks nice. And I call and say, hey, this is Jersey calling from XYZ. I'm just calling to get you back on the schedule and I didn't see you here for spring. I thought I'd call to see if you'd like to get on and what day a week would work best for you. They go, oh my gosh, thanks for calling. I completely forgot. Uh, do you have anything on a Tuesday? We certainly do. How about Tuesday the 15th? Uh, we could get you in at a nine o'clock appointment. It'd be between nine and 10. That's how we schedule whatever. And you get them in. It's just that simple. You call. If you leave a message, I do the same thing. Hey, it's Jersey calling from XYZ Company. I'm just calling because we're putting together the uh, spring schedule and I didn't see you on there. I just wanted to call and get you on before uh, it got too filled up. Call me back. Text me. Whatever. Right? The call list is the biggest boost of sales we have all year. The biggest. I don't care the winter or the season or the weather, but doing the call list, list, call it list, and doing the call list right is going to get you more work from existing customers and retain them as your customer than anything else. Now, why do we want retain customers on the other side of this? Why is this such a big thing? This is repeat customers. But why retain them? Is because if you don't retain them, they will go somewhere else. They're people who want their windows cleaned. And you want to have the, the, the opportunity to do it. But if they don't do it through you, they're going to do it through somebody. And you're going to lose that money if you don't retain them. So go out there and retain dang customers already, would you? Yeah. But call list is really it. Anything you guys think of too that you would do, you like to do, please comment down below. I would love to hear it. Um, we're all growing together. So if somebody else can read your comment, the better. If I read it, that's awesome. Either way, go out and retain customers. And hopefully spring comes soon for you guys and girls because spring is not quite here yet. We're still like cold and rainy and uh, we had two weeks in the 80s already. So I'm ready for it. I'm ready for spring, 100% ready. I hope you are too. Either way, uh, like I said before, please comment down below and be entered into our drawing every week if you're watching this on YouTube. If you are on iTunes, what up, by the way? Com um, uh, not comment, but uh, give us a review on iTunes. We really don't have many reviews on iTunes. It's a little bit hard because usually you're just listening. I'm asking you for a review. Please go out and do a review for that uh, on iTunes. 
and share this content. It's huge and I appreciate it and it continues to let me do this show. Uh, and if you have any supply needs or questions on supplies or anything, my number 862-312-2026. Be part of the elite. Let me put your order in. Put your stuff in your cart. Call me up. Send me a text. Be like, hey, it's in my cart. I'm ready to order. And I'll put it in. I get credit for it. And it's like a virtual high five of awesomeness. So please do that. And uh, genuinely, guys and girls, I appreciate you guys uh, watching, listening, and commenting. And also shooting me texts just saying, what's up? I love the podcast. I've learned a lot. I haven't learned a lot. I get texts probably uh, at least once a week about my nose not being crooked. So there you go. Do what you will. I appreciate it, guys. Uh, Have a great week. And until next week, go out there and be 